Torrance, I miss your face. Uh, my brain is just, I, I got up early this morning to go to the gym, so that's why my brain is not with it completely. I'm trying to get it together, man. I've got it. I'm here. How are you guys? This has been way too long without Shadowhunters episodes. It's been too long since they've aired. It's been too long since I've been on Insta Live. Guys, it's been a minute. Catch me up. Hey, Adam, how's it going? How was work? Tell me what happened. Spill the tea. <laughs> we all know Adam is the best at spilling tea. He is the official tea spiller. Um, everyone, I hope you had a fantastic new year. Uh, it... Hi, Bri Bri! Our very own Bri Bri guy is on... Torrance, a life outside of work? Come on. You know me. I don't have a life outside of work. <laughs> That's how it goes. Uh, I almost texted you tonight, actually. Anyway, long story short. I'll text you later. By the way, shout out to Torrance Coombs because he is the most badass big brother. Um, I have a few good big brothers, but Torrance is, is one of the good ones. Wait, what did Brian just say? Missing everything. Oh, just hearts. Just hearts from Bri Bri. Ooh, a tease for Arrow. Killer Queen wants to know. Um, what can I say? It's so hard to answer this question without spoiling anything. Um, I'm in an episode coming up soon. Torrance and I say hi to Brazil. At his request, but yes, I I also say hi to Brazil. Um, oh goodness, there's so many wonderful questions. It rained on New Year's Eve. You know, they say if it rains, well, it's technically on your wedding if it rains, but I'm just going to go with New Year's too. It's good luck. So it's good luck for your new year. How's that? Silver lining, literally, in this situation. <laughs> oh, I think I'm funny. Anyway, uh, I hope you all had a great new year. And what did, what did everybody do for New Year's? Hello, hello. Do I like pourable? I don't know if I've ever had that. Let me see. I've missed lots of questions. Wow, you guys are here from all over the world. This is amazing. It's 7 a.m. in Italy? Oh my goodness, my dear. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you so much. And you haven't slept. Wow. Props to you. Happy birthday to Lucas445 underscore. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing part of your birthday with me. Wow. 100,000 subs at work, so pretty well. Good for you, Adam. Official tea spiller. Yes, of course. That's you. Oh, well, love to your sister. I'm so sorry they had a bad day. Thank you. Do we get a clay sweating? You'll just have to watch and see. I cannot spill any tea officially on the Shadowhunters finale other than the fact that it is kick-ass and absolutely amazing and you need a box of tissues. You jumped off a dock into freezing water you are a braver soul than I. I have not seen Bohemian Rhapsody yet. I actually almost went to go see it tonight, but I couldn't find a, a movie time that was that worked. Um, but I shall, because it looks so good. And I'm a huge Rami Malek fan. Um, let's see. I'm so glad you guys can't wait for Shadowhunters. It's, um, it's going to be really interesting. I can't wait for these episodes to come out and it's going to be so fascinating to see what you guys think because it's a very different season for us. It's a very fun season. It's a very good season. It's very different. So, lots of things. Yes, these are my natural eyelashes. I do have mascara on currently, but I grew them myself. <laughs> mm. 
Talk about Clace. Um, it's it's trying times for Clace in 3B. I can tell you that much. There's lots of it. And it's a huge roller coaster. As always, you know, it's it's status quo with Clace. We always have big roller coasters. There's lots of big moments, though, for all of the relationships on the show. There's some really fantastic, beautiful, sweet romantic moments. And then there's absolute gut-wrenching moments for, for all of the relationships. So I'm excited to see what you guys think. Tease about the Clay's reunion. Uh, it might not be what you expect. I know, I know it's probably getting so frustrating with all of my super vague teasers. All of our super vague teasers. We're trying so hard to share with you without spoiling. Because it's not going to be any fun for anyone if we spoil it in advance, you know? We, we want you guys to get to experience it as we did when we read the scripts for the first time. When you, you know... At least for me, I was gasping and crying and laughing and all of the above. All the feels, man. You know? All the feels. <clears throat> You're binge watching all the scenes with your brother-in-law? Well, that's awesome. I'm glad you got your brother-in-law hooked on the show. Do I miss my Clary hair? Sometimes I do, you know that? It's it's strange to me not being a ginger now. Uh, sometimes I'll look in the mirror or I'll look at old photos and go, I don't understand. It, it's something, it's something feels off sometimes. And also this hair color in particular is probably the closest to my mother's hair color I've ever been. And I've always so associated this particular shade of blonde with her that sometimes I'll catch it in the mirror and it makes me jump. Not in a bad way, but just in the way of I'm not used to seeing that on me, um, but I think it works really well for Arrow, and I'm, I'm, I always love doing different hair colors. I'd never do it on my own, but when a job makes me change my hair, I always find it really exciting, because it's an opportunity to be that chameleon, you know, and to become someone else. I do miss the Maze Runner cast, you know that? I ran into Dylan O'Brien the other day, and he is just the biggest sweetheart, and the nicest guy, and is always a treat. Um, but, and same goes for all the rest of the guys. Best part about working with Luke Baines? Do I have to pick one? Um, uh, probably the fact that we have so much fun together. And, and I love his sense of humor. Um, he has this beautifully self-deprecating sarcasm that I just adore, but he's also not afraid to give anybody else crap as well. No, he's, um, he's also one of the most honest and genuine human beings I've ever met in my life. What you see is what you get with Luke. And he's not afraid to talk to you honestly, especially if, if, you know, you're one of his friends. So, um, I just adore the man, and I, I honestly have had the biggest treat with the Sebastian Jonathan character because having Will Tudor, who's one of my favorite humans, and Luke Baines, who's also one of my favorite humans, play the two incarnations of this character and getting to work with both of them so much, it's just been a dream come true. It's a huge, huge treat. When is Shadowhunters coming back? Shadowhunters is coming back on February 25th on Freeform and February 26th, I believe, on Netflix. So stay tuned. Define Clary in the last episodes. Forever changed. It's exciting. The cage fight in Arrow, was it difficult to do? Uh, every fight brings new challenges, but... Because I had such extensive training on Shadowhunters, it was, it sort of just felt like jumping back in to the pond. You know, jumping back in the saddle, if you will. Um, that's one of my favorite parts about Arrow, though, is the fact that I do d get to continue my training and continue my fighting. And I, they let me do quite a lot of that fight, so I was very, I was very excited. My hair is naturally the definition of strawberry blonde. Um, I'm right smack dab in the middle of the two, so, uh, 
it makes it fun to be kind of every shade in between. A lot of you are asking if uh, what my favorite episode is of 3B, and I truly cannot choose. I have spent many hours fretting over this this uh, choice, and I've just given up. Each episode brings with it something so unique and so brilliant, and I'm just, I'm so thrilled for you guys to see it. My favorite Malik scene? I think it's coming in 3B. But see, I don't see a lot of the Malik scenes until the episodes air. I hear them at the table read, but then uh, there's just a certain magic when they're, they're obviously Matt and Harry are great at the table read, but once they've had a chance to really digest the material and, and work it out. And then there's, you know, the little magic that happens on set. It's beautiful. I did have fun with Harry at the Globes. It's always fun to see friends at those things. Dom has an amazing American accent, actually. One of the best that I have heard. Of course there's Parabatai moments in 3B. There's actually some really great Parabatai moments in the first episode back, in episode 11. Which country do you want to visit? All of them. Uh, my favorite part of working with Harry is the fact that I learned so much from him. He's, he's such a brilliant artist and such a professional at the same time. And he finds such an amazing way to balance the two that I, I always try and learn from his example because he, he brings such a wonderful creativity to his work, but while also being the, the, the definition of a consummate professional and, and exceeding that. So I, um, I learn so much every time I work with him. I am still in touch with the cast. We actually talk quite a lot. So I'm trying to catch up with all of these amazing questions. Do I miss, I, I loved filming in Toronto. You know, it, it's always such a gift when you get to be in a city that you genuinely enjoy and you never get sick of. I was, I mean, I was in Toronto for pretty much three years, if not a little more, and, and I still have things I want to do there. I actually almost went back to visit a couple months ago just because I missed it. Uh, I, working with Isaiah is a treat and a gift and a joy, and he is Papa Wolf for life, and I just adore him. So, so much. Do I prefer blonde or red hair? I like to keep changing it. And I know that's not the most healthy for my hair, but I have a brilliant colorist who makes sure that my hair is as healthy as possible. Um... Do I, uh, Adam wants to know if I have any plans to come back down to Australia. I hope so. I am, I am currently in process of figuring that out right now. So we shall see. Oh, yes, of course. My mistake. It is uh, Freeform Santa, not Isaiah. I, I should have properly named him. The best part of working with Dominic Sherwood is... Honestly, it's the fact that we've built these characters from the first episode, from before we started shooting, from our screen tests. So, and the fact that we were friends before, there's there's an underlying level of, of trust and you're building that relationship from the ground up. So by the time you get to a point such as season 3B, you've built so many little nuances into their relationship and into the framework of these characters and how they relate to each other that there's so much more detail you can add and you can only keep adding those layers and layers of detail. And Dom is so good at that. And uh, it's been a lot of fun to, to create that. The most fun scene to film, they're all fun, but for different reasons. And you'll see. 
Uh, I haven't worked with Steven yet, but I have met him and he's been so kind and so welcoming and so wonderful. I have nothing but lovely things to say. Um, and I actually, I hope I get to work with him at some point. We'll see. I don't even have the answer to that question. Oh, what else can I, what else can I throw out there? Um, oh, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the, uh, ha are, let me pose the question this way. Are you guys enjoying the Fan Art Friday Insta Stories, the Frey Friday Fan Art Friday Insta Stories? And if so, I hope you guys enjoyed the Shadowhunters Poster Challenge post today. I still have a few more to post, but I just, I thought they were so fantastic. Um, and you guys do such amazing work. There's too many for me to even begin to post. And I, I lost so many of them because there are so many that have been posted on the internet. Um, but I did do a little bit of stalking to try and find a few that I'd seen. Because they, they're just so fantastic. And I I am so flattered that you guys took the time to to create all of these. Because I'm I know how much time that takes. And uh, please know that we do see them and we do appreciate them. And we think you guys are awesome and so, so talented. So thank you for, for putting in that time and for being so creative with, with these characters. I missed a few questions. I'm back now. Pancakes or waffles? Pancakes, actually. I do appreciate a good waffle. But given the choice, I would go for a pancake. Hi, Marty! Hi, Marty! Marty Harper has just said hello, and he is a fantastic hairstylist, a hair artist, if you will, um, and just a fabulous human being, and I love you so much, and I miss you. Joy in my life. Can I tease Clary and Simon friendship? Um... What can I tease about Clary and Simon? It's, there's one moment that is, is really, really beautiful that I, uh, I keep thinking of. <gasps> oh, there's that too. Oh my God. I totally forgot about, oh, there's a lot. There's some good stuff. It's so funny. It's been so long since we shot 3B. It actually takes a minute. I mean, it's been a year since we shot the first episodes now. So it uh it it really truly takes me a minute to um to figure out what's going on. Yes, I'm so excited for Rose's new movie. I cannot wait to see it. I'm so proud of her. I had a few scenes with Steve, not directly. The lovely Steve Byers, who plays our favorite Underhill, Underpants. We love Steve Byers. Everybody loves Steve Byers. Um, I didn't have any scenes with him directly, but I... Oh, no, I did. I had one scene where I spoke to him, which was very exciting for me. I was really excited. Uh, but we have a few scenes where we're in the same room. We just don't really interact. So, at least I got to spend time on set with Steve, which I was fangirling. I am still singing. I actually spent some time working on music today. So, we shall see. Happy ending? Mm, I would say the ending of this show is bittersweet. Which I think is really fitting. And actually, I'll, I'll be curious to see what everyone has to say about the ending ending. Um, because I think people are going to have a lot to say. And I always love hearing your thoughts. Because they're so well informed. Am I watching any shows right now? I just finished season two of Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. And I'm obsessed. I love that show so much. I think it's beautiful and wonderful. And... I'm just, I'm so proud of them for all of their success.
I've not been to Japan. I would love to. I've seen a few episodes of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Uh, I just haven't, I haven't fully committed to the show yet. There's so much good television out there right now. It's so difficult to catch up. Uh, I love Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. I watched most of it on a flight, I think. It's fantastic. Currently, I'm also, I, I had mentioned this the other day, thanks to Luke Baines, I am hooked on Grey's Anatomy, and I cannot stop watching, and it's wonderful. Um, yes, so it's officially become a, a huge part of my life. <laughs> oh, thanks, Luke. Um... Any Clace moments that the fans will scream over. You know what I can tell you is there are, if you're a book fan and you know, how can I say this? Okay. As, as a book fan myself, there were a lot of things that I had been dying to, to bring to life that we got to bring to life in 3B. And so I think you guys will be very excited to see those. Non-spoilery. Non-spoiler spoilers for you. There you go. What are you guys watching right now? I need more show recommendations. Because I, as much as I love Grey's Anatomy, I feel like I need to balance it with something else sometimes. <laughs> so what should I watch? Hey, Blaney, what's up? Hi, Kaylee. Rashid. Oh, my goodness. So many people are stopping by. Ooh, which Cassie Clare book was my favorite? I don't know. It's so difficult to pick. Okay, Game of Thrones. All right, yes. I'm finally caught up on Game of Thrones. Riverdale, I'm caught up on that too. The Magicians, I've heard that's a great show. Seems like it would be right up my alley too. Sherlock. I love Sherlock. I actually... I had this phone case for a while. I just switched it on Sunday because, you know, the clubs. Oh, hey, Ross. Kaminsky Method. Yes, I do need to watch that. Man in the High Castle. Kaylee, I didn't know you watched that show, but I will take that recommendation because it's been on my list for a while. Arrow. <laughs> I'm caught up on Arrow. I will have you know. I do my research. <laughs> Oh, yes, Shadow Hunters. I've heard of that show, too. I'll have to check that out. I should watch Lucifer. That's been on my list for a long time. Yes, I've seen To All the Boys I've Loved before, and I'm so happy for Noah and Lana. I haven't met Lana, but I think she's fantastic. And I, Noah's just amazing, so I'm, I'm really, really thrilled for both of them. Um, but this was my phone case for a really long time. And it's, I always used to joke that this is about how much swag I have is uh, Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman throwing up Live Long and Prosper. So there you have it. Ghost Adventures and The Gifted. I've not heard of Ghost Adventures. I'll have to find it. Uh, but The Gifted, I have seen some episodes because my, my dear friend Chantille is on that show. And he's great, so I had to check it out. Stranger Things, that's what I should catch up on. I started it a long time ago, and then uh, Shadowhunters. <laughs> Friends, of course. I should... I've rewatched Friends so many times, though. I feel like if I watch it anymore. The Kissing Booth! I have seen The Kissing Booth, because my I've, I've known Joey King for a long time, but my dear, dear friend Joel Courtney, I had to see that, because he's a bro. Black Mirror. You're so right. I should uh, see. This is what I need to do. I need to just get on here and get TV recommendations. <laughs> this is what I need to do when I can't decide what I want to watch on Netflix in the morning. I'll just ask you guys. I haven't seen Bird Box yet, but Sarah Paulson and uh, Sandra Bullock are two of my favorite actresses, so I feel as though I need to check that out. 13 Reasons Why. That I have seen. 
Big Bang Theory. I love Big Bang Theory. Oh my goodness, there's so many recommendations on here. Thanks, guys. Now my list has gotten longer. <laughs> What, what are you, what questions do you guys have for me? How can I be of service? I don't have that much more time. I have to actually go pack, but Bates Motel. I love Bates Motel. Such a good show. I do still hang out with the cast. We're all kind of spread out all over the world and working on different things now, but whenever we're in the same place, we do tend to find time to spend time together. My favorite scary movie, ooh, ooh, there are so many. Um, Oculus is fantastic. Uh, it, it too is going to be great. We know that because Papa Wolf's in it. Um, the Conjuring is one of my favorite movies. Oh, goodness. Th that's a good start. Start there and let me know how you do. My favorite clay scene. I can't tell you about it. I can't tell you. I want to, but I can't tell you. I haven't seen the boy. I that one that trailer freaked me out. If I got to keep one prop from Shadowhunters, what would it be? I actually did get to keep a prop or two. They uh, they let me keep a stele and a set of Clary's daggers, which I was really happy about. Spent a lot of poured a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into those props. So, I'm, I'm and they're so beautifully crafted. I was was really thankful they let me take them home. What crazy color would I dye my hair? That's a good question. I think I'd love to dye it like a dark, dark purple would be fun. Or a gray, I thought, you know, there's, there's that um, gray or, or like the dark denim blue, but I think a, a gray is always a neat color. Us does look terrifying. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Get Out, oh, there's another horror film you should watch. It's more of a thriller, but still. Still counts. My favorite author? Mm. I mean, I love Tom Stoppard, but he's more of a playwright. Um, but I'll go with Tom Stoppard. My favorite color for lipstick, I, you know, I always tend to go with more of a nude lip just because for me, I, I don't know that much about how to match lipstick and skin tones and things of that nature. I know a lot about makeup, but that is one area that I'm very unfamiliar. So I have one or two that I know work for me. So I tend to just go for this. Who out of the cast would I take to survive in the wild? Probably Daddario, because he's been our human Google for the entirety of the of the production, and um, I think he he's read enough to have knowledge to be prepared for just about any situation. I would just have to be sure that I wasn't dead weight at any point, which I think I think I can I, I can pull my own weight. I can provide some kind of value to the situation. Favorite music. Does the Hamilton soundtrack count? I think that's that's been my consistent <laughs> most played album on my Spotify for quite a long time. I could knit clothes. I could hug a tree. <laughs> 
Okay, Pam. A kip up. Uh, I think so. I don't know if I've ever been taught or tried, but sure. I'm sure I could learn. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, Pam. <laughs> Would I do Broadway? Yes. I would love to go back to Broadway. I miss doing theater and uh, it's, I'm, I'm craving it and have been for a while. So yes, I volunteer as tribute. Go practice now. Yes, sir. I will. <laughs> as soon as I get off this live chat, I'm going to go practice kip ups. YouTube it. My favorite part about life. That's a broad question. I'm tempted to just go straight for saying Mexican food or cookie dough ice cream, but I think there are things that are better about life. Those are pretty good. Maybe spending time with friends and family, a game night situation, um, travel is a pretty great part about life. Um, I, 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 um, there's, there's a few. There's a few good things about life. The Notebook. Yes, I have seen The Notebook. And it's always been one of my favorite movies. My goodness, I'm having to catch up on all of your questions. Where do I want to travel next? Anywhere. I'm, I'm feeling like I want to go tropical next, but I'm not sure. I either want to go somewhere tropical and sit on a beach, or I want to go climb a mountain. I can't decide. I think I just want to go somewhere new. My favorite mascara, I, right now, I've been using the CoverGirl Lash Blast, which is the pink one, for quite a while, and I really love it. I've not seen The Bodyguard yet, but it's on my list. I think Richard Madden's awesome, so. A tropical beach with mountains, yes, see, okay. Y'all are helping me solve all my problems. I just, I just need to talk to you more. This settles it. I need to do more lives. More Insta lives. All right, I'm going to do five more minutes, and then I have to go practice kip-ups, apparently. <laughs> my favorite book, uh, Watership Down, actually, has always been my favorite book since I was a kid. And I'm very excited because now they're doing, Netflix is doing a new, I think it's Netflix, is doing a new uh, version of it with James McAvoy. It comes out soon or just came out. I don't remember. I saw something about it. The Twitterverse has been a buzz. Do I watch Big Little Lies? Yes. And I cannot wait for season two, particularly but because it includes Meryl Streep. Outlander. I've heard that's a great show, too. I love working with Alicia. I'm trying to think if there's any Clary Maya in 3B. If there's anything, it's very minimal or it's indirect. I uh, love Pentatonix. Love Pentatonix. Uh, my, friend, my friend Jake first introduced me, and then Will and Matt reintroduced me to Pentatonix. Um, stay tuned on that. Sense8. Oh, I've heard that's good, too. I do love Harry Potter in all caps. Yes, I do. Supernatural is a great show. My dear, dear Lisa Berry is on uh, Supernatural all the time. My favorite Avenger. People ask me this question all the time, and I can never pick an answer. Oh, I watched Gilmore Girls back in the day. I haven't seen the reboot, but I um, I watched it back in the day. I love Panic at the Disco, particularly recently their song on the um, Greatest Showman Reimagined. It's pretty good. My favorite ice cream flavor? Um, I really love any kind of ice cream with cookie dough, but I've recently discovered Halo Top. If you have not tried Halo Top ice cream, please bring it into your life. This is not a paid advertisement. This is just from the heart. They have an oatmeal cookie flavor that's particularly great. I do like The Vampire Diaries. I watched that show for a long time.
My favorite quote. Um, I have a few, but one of my favorite quotes is a Henry David Thoreau quote. Uh, Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. Milkshake or smoothie? Milkshake. Definitely. Definitely milkshake. Uh, Particularly for the reason that I listened to this podcast called And That's Why We Drink. And there's milkshake. One of the women always drinks a milkshake. And you hear random milkshake facts. It's great. All right. Any last minute questions? Anything I can answer for you? Because I got to go in two minutes. Clayser Malik, both. Tell us about Dom's pranks. Uh, I think you guys know about all of Dom's pranks already. Did I have to dye my hair for Shadowhunters? A little bit. They, So I'm strawberry blonde naturally, but they just bumped up the red to make it really clary, you know, to have that fiery fray red. Um, the first season, they went way far with it and made it super orange. But then we figured it out by season two and turned it out. Yes, I've seen American Horror Story. I'm not completely caught up. I haven't seen the fin- the last season that just aired. Um, but I love it so much. It's so good. Yes, I'm excited for the con in June in Paris. I cannot wait to say... I have to say, that is one of my favorite things that Shadowhunters has brought into my life, is getting to go to these cons and meet you guys and have conversations and talk to you in person and hear your stories. And it's one of the biggest gifts that the show has brought. So thank you for being such an amazing fandom and so wonderful and and being there. Um, And I've gotten to meet some of the Arrow folks as well. When I went to London a few cons ago, one of the first um, things I got to sign was an arrow poster. And it, it threw me for a loop in the most wonderful way. Um, but I digress as I say thank you so much for being such a fantastic fandom of all, all, all realms. Um, this has been so lovely. I, one of my New Year's resolutions, I'm making a new one, even though we're a few weeks in, is to do more live streams. I hope you guys are okay with that and will join me and ask these fantastic questions even more. Uh, Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. Happy New Year. I will see you again very soon. All my love, angels. Bye.